Cain mana opening langsung impit. Good morning everyone. Come back with me, Ahmad Pauji. On talk show, we have a special guest, a namely outstanding student who are proud of Indonesia. Uh, Rizda, uh, I invite you for join to talk show. Uh, hello. Hello, uh, Rizda. Uh, Hi, are you there? hello. Yeah, I'm here. Hello, good morning. How are you? Morning. I'm good. And how about you? <laughs> Me too. How is your study at Stanford University? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I can do it well. Hello, can you hear my voice clearly? Uh, yes, I can hear. Hello? Hello? Can you hear my voice? Yeah, yeah, it's clearly, it's clear. Your voice is clearly. Okay, thank you. Uh, what are you doing as a student in America now? Are you always busy? Uh, yeah, I'm busy as usual, and I still studying, and with never-ending assignments. Mm. So, uh, is there a difference between studying in Indonesia and America? Oh uh, yeah, of course. Maybe when I was in Emir, uh, I mean, when I was in Indonesia, I felt more comfortable because I was in my own environment. Meanwhile, when I was in America, I really had to adapt. Mm, what made you feel unforgettable when you first went to America to study there? I think the first thing that makes me uncomfortable is the culture. But after I lived there for a long time, I can understand and I can adapt. Mm, it is difficult to find halal food in America. Oh yeah, of course, it was difficult at first because more food shops uh, don't have halal certificates and it made me curious and to buy even though they uh, guarantee it. Alhamdulillah. So, Rizda, how do you deal with that? So, uh, if I want to eat meat, uh, of course I eat a place that has a halal certificate. Or if I want to go to campus, I always bring a salad or food that I make uh, myself. But now uh, on campus, there are uh, many halal food. Mm. Oh yes, it is a very good idea. And yes, of course, uh, adapting to a new environment is difficult. Yeah, of course, but Alhamdulillah, I can adapt well here. Alhamdulillah. Yes, of course, you know that. What we are going to discuss here. What is that? I think we are going to discuss about education, maybe? Yes, that's right. We will discuss education in this pandemic era. Wow, that an interesting topic, right? Yes, of course, because now learning is done online, so I will invite you as a student to discuss the current stage of education. Yeah, of course. My pleasure, Uzi. So, uh, what do you think about the current stage of education? Mm, yeah, of course, as we know that the pandemic still exists and yeah, learning is still being online. And yeah, if pandemic uh, continues uh, like that, then of course, online learning is probably the best solution for now. Mm. 
what do you think about education that does online learning? Oh uh, yeah, there must be a positive and negative impact, right? Uh, from this current situation, this online learning really makes students tired, maybe, and most students feel bored doing this online learning. So, what do you think as a student? What are positive and negative impact of online learning? I think the main impact of this online learning is that students will have the ability in technology because students are required to use uh, to use technology in this online learning and a, a negative impact is maybe there are many obstacles right in online learning such as many students who often have internet uh, connection and unstable and others mm. is there any specific impact that happened to students uh, by doing this online learning yeah, of course, there is. Most students who do online learning must feel bored because they cannot interact with uh, directly with other people, with her friend. And but positive impact also maybe um, they have uh, time with family and they have can manage time well. I think that. Yes, of course, the current state of education in Indonesia requires going online because there is still a pandemic. Yeah, but I think Indonesia Minister of Education has allowed to face to face, right? Because, but it must it comply with uh, the healthy protocol and the area is in PPKM level one until three. But the re uh, but but uh, that a return to school or university. Yes, even now the government has administered vaccines to the community to prevent the spread of COVID-19 with the aim that education and other aspects can return to normal. Of course, and I hope this pandemic will pass quickly. By the way, Rishda, as a student who experienced online learning, do you have a learning style? Yeah, of course. I think everyone must have a learning style. Uh, all right, does everyone have the same learning? I think everyone have different learning style. Mm. So, what is your learning style as a student who is known for the assignment? Um. Maybe my learning style is more dominant in audiovisual. Mm, why? Oh yeah, because I can just read the material. Yeah, of course. Even though I understand by me, uh, my material and reading it, but I still need explanation from my lecture, and especially if the explanation of the material using the video, it makes me understand more. Mm. Maybe because if the video has explanation and picture or diagram that make it easier for you to understand, is this is it like that? Yeah, that's right. When online learning like this, in my opinion, audiovisual is more appropriate to use as a learning style. Yes, I understand. Do you know about the issue that online learning makes students more silent in class? Ah, yeah, I know, and I've read an article about most students are quiet in class. Uh, what do you think about it? Oh, yeah, maybe if students become more silent in class, it, it is a challenge, maybe. Yeah? Th this is a challenge mm. for lecture to yeah. overcome this. Oh, and Rishya, uh, what do you think is the reason why most? of the students are quiet in the online class? I think uh, because students feel bored uh, during class or students uh, not have the confidence speak in front of the class, so uh, students just quiet in the class, I think it's. Mm. 
Thank you. And uh, is that in your opinion, how to make students not to not just be silent in class? I think lectures should be provide fun learning, such as. Uh, provide quizzes or games which are uh, require all students to participate in class and give rewards to students who win the games or quizzes so it can attract a student's attention to be active in the class. Yes, I agree with your opinion. That is a very good idea and can be applied when learning online. Wow, yeah, I don't think we <laughs> discuss interesting this year. Yeah, of course. This is very interesting. Uh, I'm sorry, Listia. I think it's time for me to withdraw from this event. Uh, and thank you, Listia, for taking the time to discuss education at this event. Yeah, of course. My pleasure. And thank you for in inviting me in this special event, in this live, uh, virtual live about and discussing about education it's really interesting topic yes of course hopefully we can meet in another event yeah yeah me too wow our discussion is very interesting this time and also there are benefits for all of us uh are there were for Ristia to audience Uh, maybe what I want to say is for all of you guys who still online learning, keep your spirit. I love you guys even the learning is still online, but we have to keep spirit and do it well, right? And fight your laziness. Keep spirit. Oh, thank you so much, Yushtia. Uh Yes, even though we are still learning online. We have to keep our spirits up. Sorry, maybe it's yeah. time for me to say goodbye. Thank you for joining this show and see you. See you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Ristia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here. Yes. You're welcome.